Hello, and welcome to this School Mental Health Ontario Read Aloud. My name is Deb, and I'm a teacher on special assignment at School Mental Health Ontario. Today, I'll be reading Whimsy's Heavy Things, written and illustrated by Julie Crowless. Let's get started. Whimsy's Heavy Things by Julie Crawless. Whimsy's heavy things were weighing her down. She knew she needed to do something, but she wasn't sure what. I will hide them, she said. So Whimsy swept the heavy things under the rug. But she tripped over them when she ran to answer the phone. I will hang them in a tree, she said. So Whimsy hoisted the heavy things onto a branch. But the next time she walked by, the heavy things fell. I will fly them high in the sky for the clouds to swallow, she said. So Whimsy attached the heavy things to her kite. But when a big gust of wind came along, the kite did not move. I will float them to sea, she said. So Whimsy made a boat and placed the heavy things in it. But the heavy thing sank the umbrella and she stubbed her toe when she went swimming. I will pretend they are not there, she said. So Whimsy went about her day trying to ignore the heavy things. But she was too weighed down. Her feet and heart were heavy. Her eyes filled with tears. Try as she might, Whimsy just couldn't make the heavy things disappear. Maybe I'm trying to deal with too many heavy things at once, Whimsy said. She took the first heavy thing and looked at it carefully. She had an idea. She could break the heavy thing into smaller pieces. So she did, and with the pieces, Whimsy made marbles for her best friend. Whimsy broke up the second heavy thing and planted the pieces in the garden where they grew into a beautiful peach tree. Whimsy used pieces of the third heavy thing to build steps to see over the tallest wall. When Whimsy broke up the fourth heavy thing, she began to feel lighter. So much lighter, she could swim faster than ever. And she kept the pieces of the last heavy thing as a reminder not to get weighed down by heavy things. Because Whimsy had discovered that heavy things are just light things in disguise. Thanks for listening. 
We hope you'll look for our other read aloud videos and check out the lessons that go along with them. Bye for now.